patrol in the town centre, keeping an eye out for any beggars um, on our way to the beacon. Good love. Encouraged by a number of the public who wanted to report young people congregating in the churchyard, um, causing that social behaviour and damage to the property. We've taken his details and we're trying to look uh, plate it all with some of the complaints we've had. We think it's part of other group issues within the area. So we've reported it to neighbourhood wardens and we're going to them to it further when we get back to the office. So I mean effectively the beacon is part of the ministry of uh, St John's and St, with St Mary's Church. We've been uh, operating for 20 years um, and uh, so we come under their governance so if you ever look us up as a charity you'll see the church uh, charity as part of that. We, uh, we're open two days a week, three, well we're about to open three days a week, we're about to open on a Saturday morning as well as a Tuesday and a Friday and we, um, we, we work with the antisocial behaviour team because of lots of things that are going on around the town whether it's begging, uh, whether it's uh, you know shoplifting and all those kind of things, because we're we're all part of the uh, the crime network in in Mansfield. So we speak with the um, workers from Beacon who help share that in information and intelligence. Um, so if we've got beggars in the town centre, uh, they can help us, us give us information about where they live in and what support they've currently got in place and what they might be needing as well. To engage with the public and deal with issues that we come across to make Mansfield a safer and welcoming place for all. So we patrolled the area through the reports and complaints from shops, the police, um, the council's big team, um, just constantly patrolling for issues that arise that we may come across during our, our day. We use public space protection orders to encourage people to act responsibly and respectfully. Um, if, if this baby continues, we look at taking enforcement action by way of issuing fixed penalty notices, potential court prosecutions for non-compliance or non-payment. This helps to give people and the public confidence in the, in the service and that makes Mansfield a safer and more attractive place. What about all that rubbish down there? Where's all that coming from? Me and my colleague Sarah, as, as you may have probably seen on, on today's filming, um, no day is the same like being an ASP officer. We, uh, there's always different like, uh, problems within town centre, enforcing the PSPO, um, just general ASP within the town at like various locations. We work closely with partners such as the BID, Mansfield BID and uh, the town centre police. Tackling the issues that you've seen today to try and make Mansfield a more welcoming and a safer, attractive place for people to live, work and visit. 